Hi, Dr. Katherine Price here, physical therapist with the Body Shop Physical Therapy. I'm going to talk about boron today, and that is because boron is an essential nutrient to decreasing osteoarthritis symptoms. One of my references that I refer to is the Nutritional Healing by Dr. Balch. And in this, when you look up arthritis, the first essential nutrient is boron. Now, the epidemiological observation and evidence is quite astounding. So in populations where the consumption of boron is anywhere between 3 and 10 milligrams daily, the incidence of osteoarthritis is 0 to 10%. In populations where osteoarthritis is, um, the incidence is 20 to 70 percent, the consumption is just one milligram or more. So it is varied, but it's showing that boron is a key player in osteoarthritis. Also, folks that have serum boron of lower levels have more symptoms of osteoarthritis. There was a double blinded study with 15 participants with osteoarthritis. There was one group that consumed six milligrams of boron daily over an eight-week period, and then the um, control group that did not consume or supplement with boron. And the ones that supplemented with boron six milligrams daily for eight weeks had decreased pain, decreased swelling, and decrease in taking painkillers. And in the control group where no supplementation of boron, there was only one of the eight participants that had improvement in symptoms. So boron is a key nutrient in helping with our symptoms of arthritis. Also, boron is going to increase mRNA expression of bone morphogenetic proteins. So also known as BMP. So what are bone morphogenetic proteins? They are multi multifunctional growth factors that assist in the formation of cartilage and bone. So the boron plays a role in the processes to help form cartilage. This is very essential to the joints and keeping the joints healthy. So how can you get boron? You can get it through your diet. You can find, you can get it uh, only through plants. So from what I can tell, the highest containing plant sources for boron are going to be avocados, raisins, prunes, and hazelnuts, and the avocados and raisins being the highest. So if you're looking for something that's not going to have sugar, your avocado is going to be the good choice for consumption of boron, and your fruits will also give you that boron. So that is one way you can also supplement with it, but you need to have good kidney function to be able to clear. So do consult your medical doctor or healthcare practitioner if it is a supplement that you're considering to start. And again, you can get this through diet and the epidemiological evidence of those that consume um, higher doses of boron between 3 and 10 milligrams daily show less incidence of the osteoarthritis. And boron also will increase all the steroid hormones, so it naturally helps elevate those hormones. That includes vitamin D3, your estrogen, testosterone, and cortisol. So it can help in the healing process and modulate inflammation in the body. And these are newer studies. Um, first was discovered to help in bone, in 1981 and then showing to be a key player in helping with inflammation in the 1990s and continue to be studied and quite fascinating. So taking a bird's eye view, there is a lot more to it and I'm sure I will talk more about boron as I continue to learn um, more, but it is essential in helping with joint health, and it's something that seems to be overlooked as a key player in keeping joints healthy and helping to decrease symptoms of osteoarthritis and keeping the joints healthy. So I hope this is of help and have a blessed day.